Hello guys uh, Kita akan main game baru Ini game lama tapi Bagi saya baru lah sebab saya belum main Dengan saya Syam Retours uh, Game ni dia ada banyak ending dia ada bad ending Dia ada normal ending Good ending, great ending atau trending lah Aku pun tahu tapi uh, Saya harap kita dapat uh, Ikut the real good ending lah The true ending Ikut guide juga dan kita akan teruskan lah. Let's play guys. Yeah. Momentum Mori. Me Momentum Mori. Every sad story has got its beginning, its time and place. Its tragic characters and its puppet masters. Our story began with a phone call. And Svetlova, get ready to give me a clever explanation for why your cell phone is off all the time. Use your cell phone so that we don't have to go through the identification procedure. Hmm. Sergei Vasily Ostankovich, Colonel of Russian Militia. My former boss at Department 12, Art Forgery and Theft, before I transferred to Interpol. Certainly a man with no sense of humor. Quite clearly in top form again. And the fact he's getting in touch with me here in Lyon doesn't imply anything good. I really have to find my cell phone and call Ostankovich immediately. Okay. My cell phone. Tap ni dia akan tunjuk lah ada yang boleh access. Okay. An empty CD cover. Hmm. I wonder what I can use it for. Hey, which is a server. The album Muriel lent me. I have to give it back to Muriel or I'll have one less friend. That means none. So then, yeah, to the coward. Hey, CD in the cover. Okay. CD in the cover. The cover and the CDs inside it. Okay. Just for the auto, apa? A permanent pen can always be put to use. From the scene near DeWitt Clinton Park, the man was identified as Anatoly Abramchikov, a Russian scientist lecturing at a scientific symposium in New York. Police are investigating the case, but so far no signs of violence have been found. In the next item, we'll be talking to Professor Yulia Chenkov, great work friend and colleague of Anatoly Abramchikov's. He'll be on the line from Moscow. Oh my lord, Abramchikov. That Abramchikov dead. I talked to him a few times when I was in Petersburg. 
he was going to lecture here on his new analysis method in two weeks. This is a really bad day. The charger will come in handy. These days I charge the phone more frequently than I use it to make calls. The battery is finished. There is a bedroom up there. When I first saw the flat, I knew I had to have it. A flat with two levels was always a dream of mine. Flat, huh? That's where my cell phone is. My cell phone. Sadly, only with a few contacts saved. Ah, doesn't matter anyhow. Most people I have to contact are colleagues at work, and I can reach them over the office phone line. And, of course, my cell phone is flat again. Oh, damn it. The battery is really no good. How am I to work without a proper phone? <sighs> Leon, my current residence. I haven't seen it at all yet. Most of my time is eaten up by work. And to make things worse, Ostankovic calls. Ostankovic calls. Oh, orang itu polar perpunya. Last kita main yang detektif perempuan FBI. Still life. Hi, long time no see, Damien. Have you been on holiday? Nothing escapes you. I was on the Canary Islands for a week. Very touristy, but uh, at least it was warm. <laughs> I would go again right now. Uh, I was wondering, do you happen to know Muriel? Petite, dark-haired. She works here at the telephone exchange. I, uh, I haven't even noticed anyone like that here. Hold on. Doesn't she mean the one who comes here for her cigarette break? Come on. She looks totally different. Why are you asking, anyway? She went on holiday at the same time you did, and she was in the Canary Islands as well. She wouldn't tell me who she was going with, so I was thinking that maybe, by pure coincidence, you met there? No. I can't remember her. I haven't seen her around. Well, how could you? When you say that you don't even know what she looks like. Well, uh, Remy, have the Germans arrived? Excuse me, miss, but uh, we are expecting a delegation from Bonn. Germans? Are they really supposed to come today? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, of course. Uh, I'll explain it to you straight away. So, uh, chatting about the girl working at the telephone exchange, ask to wait. I am sorry. Sure, Damien. Of course. <laughs> I should call Ostankovic immediately. He makes people's lives unpleasant when things don't go his way. see what that terrible battery can hold. Well, the phone could be at least partially charged now. The battery is the same piece of junk as before, but it might just last a few phone calls. Time on your hands in Leon. Why let the 
bringing of a cell phone body, right? The guys in the technical department of Interpol, especially Jennings, are unfortunately unable to repair my cell phone at the moment. Normally I'm accessible all the time, of course. What happened? Everything I tell you now is strictly confidential. It stays between you and me. No colleagues, no departmental memos, no recordings, nothing. Do we understand each other? Well, if it's nothing illegal... Don't make me angry, sir. But this matter is too serious. Last night, the security system in the St. Petersburg State Hermitage Museum was out of order for several minutes. Fortunately, the outer perimeter remained functional and its cameras didn't record anything unusual. That's a nuisance. But if nobody entered the museum, then nothing could be taken either, could it? I personally examined the place. My initial impression was that nothing significant was missing. But I've got a feeling that something is. No one could give me a good explanation as to how both the main and backup security circuits stopped working at the same time. If everything is in its place, then it could only mean something's been exchanged for a fake. Uh, however, no, there is nothing, nothing on the on auto cameras, so the culprit and what he stole would have to still be in the museum. How about a thorough search of the place? Are you mad? Do you understand what a scandal it would be? A week after they were praising me in the press for my fine work, front page in our most popular daily, and with me about to be awarded the Medal of Honor. No, we must keep it secret. We must find out whether something has really happened, without an official investigation. That means I want to have Max Durand here in St. Petersburg as soon as possible. But how can he help you there? If you can't even support him officially, he won't be able to do anything. Listen to me closely. Sure, you're working for Interpol now and no longer for Department 12, so I'm no longer your superior. But I still have enough influence to have you lose your job. You better not forget the interests of your motherland to take all precedence. Therefore, be so kind and don't question my decision. Get Durand for me, and if he's hesitant, tell him that I have his file on my table. I can still change my mind about our mutual cooperation. Remind him I could have him arrested and locked up for a very long time. Not to mention that sometimes terrible accidents can happen in prison. <laughs> Damn the battery's flat. Now of all times. I do. I wonder how they would like it at the technical department when I whack their heads with that junk of a battery. God knows when I send the application for a new one. Damn it, Ostankovich will go ballistic if I don't get Max. Without a working cell phone, I must try to contact him from my office. Hmm. dia kena suruh apa? Investigate ni tanpa Interpol. Kalau tidak, dia kena fired lah. Ya, yang bos lama dia di Rusia. So kita akan teruskan. California is still kind of on Berkeley. Hmm, radiation. Eti coordinator, Homosha Sphere. Alright. Kita kita ni lara lagi kan? Max Duran, Maxim Duran, orang French. Our forgery answers. Hush, sudah lah. Apa, Professor? Hmm. 
or prototype fluorescent x-ray machine Forgeries dia boleh detect lah Macam art ni Forgeries Ok It seems I'm standing in for Pierre again I should get it done as soon as possible Or the boss will go wild Mhm mm Difference the paint, painting. Max has cancelled more meetings than I can count. Right now he's busy working for the University of Toulouse. Next time it might be Paris. <laughs> <laughs> You've really switched this, man. Bangkai. Um, yeah, painy Spanish. So. So Max is somewhere at the university in Toulouse, and his cell phone is off. Great, and I need to speak with him as soon as possible. That sounds like a perfect job for my friend Muriel working at the switchboard. And that's exactly why she works there. Our yearly assessments. Most of my achievements are filed under the result of working in a tightly knit team of the very best people. <laughs> Interesting how our successes are a result of teamwork and our failures are the products of individual efforts around here. Mm, Exchange, how can I help you? Hi, Muriel. This is Lara. Have you got a minute? Sure. It's busy today, but of course I'm here for my friends. Anything new? Mm, not much. Look, I need something. Could you get me through to someone? That's what I'm here for. <laughs> but it isn't one of us. Also, it's not an official matter. It's Max Durand, a friend of mine. He is lecturing at the Toulouse University at the moment. Typical. Of course, when I want something from you, you just ignore me. You think I'd forget my best friend? I've got the CD with me. You know what? I'll send someone to you with it. Lara, you never change. That's what you said last time. I'm sorry, I have to go. Someone has just come in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Technical department, Jennings speaking. Svetlova, SWOA. I need a new cell phone battery. Well, if it goes that flat, try to survive a few more days. Some new phones should be arriving shortly. It doesn't go flat quickly. It doesn't work at all. How am I to do anything with a phone that's no good? Do you know how much I have on my plate right now? And you're bothering me about a battery for your phone? Fine. But if somebody can't find me when they need me and something goes wrong, I'll make sure the department knows whose fault it is. Do we understand each other? Okay, then. Just stay calm. If it's really that urgent, I'll get it to you as soon as possible. I'm just completing the issue slip now. We don't have to argue or send complaints, do we? Look, I just have to do some urgent work for your friend Pierre in the lab. If the new battery isn't on my desk by the time I'm finished, I'll immediately lodge a complaint. Goodbye. <laughs> Damn. Hmm. A journalist approached Muriel in the street and asked her what she thought about adding new member states to the European Union. Her response was not exactly breathtaking. It hangs here just to make her happy. This one is about a theft in Madrid. I could have gotten the paintings back if I hadn't made one stupid mistake. I put it up here to remind me not to do that again. A dull report assessing work effectiveness in our department. Renier insists that everybody reads them regularly. I mustn't forget Muriel's CD. 
which, according to Charlotte Renier, the head of the art theft department, were the result of strenuous effort of her subordinates and herself. <laughs> that part always makes me laugh. I worked on that case alone. <laughs> a short review of a book written by my ex-boyfriend. I don't know why I haven't thrown it away. Senior. This is a description of a successful operation. Paintings worth almost three million dollars were recovered and three wise guys are awaiting trial. Mm -hmm. Interpol spokeswoman announced a week ago that the paintings recovered, but it now looks like she was mistaken. There has been no response to our recent inquiries. I enjoy success, but remembering mistakes and not repeating them is more important to me. And this was one of my bigger mistakes. Mm -hmm. But what's that? Someone's finally coming to do Monsieur Bouillet's work. But it's just not him. He asked me to help as a friend. That's how things are in life. But you wouldn't understand that, Demer. You'd have to have friends first. Friends? Oh, right. Uh, you mean those people who keep telling you things you don't care about and then make you do their work? No, I really don't have friends. Oh, God, how could I have missed so much all my life? <laughs> Sedinia. Okay, up over there. If this is a forgery, then there must be things that differ from the original. I should mark them somehow. If this is a forgery, then there must be things that differ from the original. I should mark them somehow. If this is a forgery... Oh, yeah. Pierre's work, which he tossed at me, not for the first time, and certainly it won't be the last. Pierre's work, mm. if this is... if this... Mm. Hey! Seal up, seal up, study. If this At first, it really looks like a photo of the original, but perhaps I should have a closer look and mark the differences. I hope I can find a marker. Mm -hmm. Now I've got everything I need. Mm. Let's get the job done. The job which Pierre was to do, of course, and which, as usual, I have to do. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to spot the difference. Uh... Thank 
this for so. So many mistakes. I should tell Pierre. Mm. Well, I'd better start all over again. Miss Abdul. So many mistakes. I should tell Pierre. <laughs> Aduh, kenapa dia bisa na? Banyak bangkai itu. Well, I better start all over again. So many mistakes. I should tell Pierre. Kenapa ada di sana, doi? Come on. Well, I bet. Snoop gila lah. Kenapa di sana? So many. Well, I bet. <sighs> well, I better stop. Hey, Nupla. Boleh lah tu, bangkai itu lah. So many. Satu lagi. Dumping this dead phone might be the Right, this should be enough. It's obviously a fake, perhaps even a joke. I should write Pierre the email to let him know it's done. Do it, huh? Kenapa ada Macam apa kan Right, this should be enough It's obviously a fake Well guys Saya save di sini lah Macam saya kena set balik lah Ni graphic Well, saya harap korang like dan subscribe dengan saya Shamrector's out